Today we are going to talk about absolute value. Absolute value is the distance between a number and zero on a number line. Now, let's first look at what um, the symbol for absolute value is. So when we have these two lines here, straight lines surrounding an integer, um, or a decimal or a fraction, um, this reads as the absolute value of negative two. This reads the absolute value of six. Okay, so when we see those two straight um, vertical lines here um, surrounding an integer or a fraction or a decimal, it means the absolute value of whatever is directly inside. So how do we find the absolute value on a number line? Well, let's go ahead and try. So um, let's look at two first. So we're going to start, excuse me, negative two. One, two, three, negative one negative two, negative three. So um, we are looking at the absolute value of negative two, which is right here. The absolute value is the distance between a number and zero on the number line. So if we look here, how far is that from zero? Two units away. So the absolute value of negative two is two. Negative two is two spaces from zero. Two units, excuse me. Let's try this one. We have positive six. Now my number line's a little smaller, so I'm actually going to count by twos here. Negative two, negative four, negative six. Okay, so um, we are looking at six, positive six, and we are looking to see how many units away from zero six is. So I count back two, four, six. It's important to note that this is two units just because we're not counting the spaces between, we're counting the units between. So six is six units away from zero. So therefore the absolute value of six is six. So what do we notice here? We notice that absolute value is always, always positive. If you think about it, we're talking about the word distance. We're talking about how far something is from zero. So if you think about distance, for example, um, for example, if you have like a Apple Watch or a pedometer of sorts that counts your steps, it doesn't matter if I walk forward or backward or to the side or if I... It doesn't matter how I walk. <laughs> it adds numbers. My distance is increasing. Um, I'm not taking negative steps. Um, so the distance is always, always positive. Therefore, your absolute value will always be positive. It's positive six spaces from zero. It takes me six units to get to zero. It takes me two units. It doesn't take me negative two. I move one two spaces to get to zero. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here at some examples. Um, it says find the absolute value uh, of the uh, numbers below and describe what it means. So we have eight to start. So the absolute value, remember this reads the absolute value of eight, and that equals well, how many spots away from zero is eight? You are welcome to draw a number line if you want, count in your head, or just know the answer. I know that the absolute value of eight is eight. Again, I can draw that on a number line if I wish. But what does that mean? It means that eight is eight units from zero on the number line. Uh, then we've got negative six. Absolute value of negative six. 
Again, I can draw that on my number line. I actually could use this number line if I chose. Um, how many units away from zero is negative six? Well, it's six. Again, I can use the number line two, four, six units away. Positive six, my distance is six, which means that negative six is six units from zero on a number line. How would I read this one? How would I read this? I just want to know how I would read the number inside of the brackets. Great, so I would read this as the absolute value of zero. What is the absolute value of zero? Well, what's the absolute value of zero? Zero is zero spaces away from zero. So therefore, the absolute value is zero. Zero is zero spaces, oops, excuse me, not spaces, units from zero. And then one more example here. We do have a decimal here. I don't think you can see that very well. Negative three and a half. Now, um, same thing for... Um, positive, or excuse me, fractions and decimals, two, three, oops, four. If my negative three and a half, negative three would be one full, two full, three half more. How many spaces is that? How many units, excuse me, is that from zero? Well, it's half of one, one full, two full, three full. So the absolute value of negative three and a half is positive three and a half. Then what we can do with these is we can compare them, uh, much like we compare integers. But before we can do that, we need to make sure that they are um, we don't want them necessarily written with their absolute value to help us figure it out. So for example, we have here two, two stays two, but the absolute value of negative five is five. So I can rewrite them and then determine which one is greater, which is this one. So then I can say, okay, two absolute value of negative five, which one is greater? negative, the absolute value of negative five. So then that would read two is less than the absolute value of negative five. Could you try this one for me? We've got negative three and the absolute value of three. What do those each um, turn into? And then which one is greater? How would I fill this in here? So negative three stays negative three. It does not have the absolute value symbols around it. Three stays three because the absolute value of three is three. So this one, which is greater three, the absolute value of three is, so this would read negative three is less than three. We can also order these. Again, you're going to want to take um, your values and turn them into integers. So the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. Negative 4 stays the same. 0 stays the same. The absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. And then we have 2. So now what I can do is I can label those on my number line here. So I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Um, I can plot those points. So I've got a positive 5, a negative 4, 0, 1, Two. So which one is the lowest? Negative four. Next lowest is zero. Then we have the absolute value of negative one. 
uh, positive 2, and the absolute value of negative 5. All right, we've got one more example here. Why don't you try this one on your own? Go ahead and turn these all into integers. Plot them on your number line and determine the order from least to greatest. So here um, is your final order. Uh, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2, and we already have a 2, so that um, can kind of stack on top of each other. But there you have it.